What is up everybody? This is Ankit from Codate and in this video we are going to be creating this navbar using pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript with this nice call animation and you will find the source code in the description down below and now without any further ado let's get started have an empty folder with just an image inside it an image folder and then an image and then now let's create index.html after that i'll create main.css and at last i'll create main.js good and let me close the sidebar and let me just add some boilerplate and here in the title i will say sticky navbar and now i'll link both the files here main.css as well as script and then main.js and now let's see what we have right now so i'll open it with live server it is an extension in vs code you can go to the marketplace and search for this extension live server and with this you do you will not have to reload the page a multiple times whenever you whenever you give any changes to you to your file and hit save you won't have to reload the page here all the times okay now after this i'll create a nav with a class of nav bar and i want it here yeah, okay and then inside that i'll create an anchor tag with a class of logo nature if i'll give hashtag and here i'll say watch and now I'll create a UL with a class of nav list. Inside that I'll have an ally with a class of nav item. Inside that I'll have an anchor tag with a class of nav link. In href I'll give hashtag and here I'll say home. And now I'll duplicate all the lines and give home about us and our team. And at last contact us. And I'm able to duplicate all the lines by using shift alt and then up arrow or right no or down order okay and it is for windows if you are on a mac then please comment down below the shortcut so that if any if any viewer is coming from mac and he doesn't know the shortcut you can comment down below and now here let's see what we have till here we have a very basic page as we expected now we'll come to our css and give some basic uh, stylings to our universal operator and to our pseudo elements padding of zero margin of zero boxes in border box after that I'll grab on the nav bar and I'll give it a width of 100% and a padding from top and bottom 20 pixels and from left and right I want 100 pixels now it will be something like this and now I want to align the items horizontally so in order to do so uh, to my nav bar I'll give display of flex and so here it aligns the logo and this list horizontally but not these list items because these are not the direct child elements of this nav bar and so they will not be affected by this because we have only given uh, we have only given um, the display flex to a nav bar and that will affect only to its direct child element and that is in this case this and this anchor tag and this UL good and now after this what I want is I want these to be in the extreme right and extreme left left extreme right and extreme left so I'll add justify content space between and what it does it is it it gives space between the items it gives space between the items and in this case it will give an x direction because it is justify content okay so now it should do the work and yes it does okay now here i'll come to my vs code and now i'll grab on the nav list and i'll also give display flex so that all the allies uh, all the allies um uh, align themselves horizontally as because i have given display flex to my ul and so these are the ch direct child elements these allies are the direct child element of this list so if i give display flex to these this uh, these all will align itself horizontally good and now i'll also give list style 
none so that the bullet bullet points are removed like so and now here to the nav item i will give margin from top and bottom i want zero from left and right i'll give 1m and here it is and after this i'll grab on the logo i will i will give it a font size font size of 3m um text decoration decoration and none and let's save it here we have like this and now i want fonts so i'll go to fonts.google.com and i have selected a font called start liches so maybe i'm pronunciating it correct let me select this style go to import function copy this entire import function now in my vs code i'll go to the very top in my css file paste it here and now here to my logo i'll give font family start liches and again i know i'm pronunciating it wrong and here it is good and now i want to give them the font family and in this case i would like to give them poppins so i'll say poppins and let me remove this style and now i'll select let me select this 300 like 300 i'll go to import function then copy this and here uh, let me give the font family or uh, first i have to paste it here and now i have to give it font family font family pop pins pop pins sensitive sensitive save it and now here good but you can see that mm, this list is not uh, is not aligned is not centered in the y direction as you can see it is not in the very middle in the y direction so in order to do so we can come to a nav bar and as we have written this please select one more property in unlock that is align items and it will perform its job in y direction and here i will say center so it will center everything like it is here good and now to my nav link Uh, what I'll say is, I'll first of all say text decoration. Nah, and that's it. Okay. And I can also change the colors, but I will not change the colors right now because I want the colors to be white. And if I write white, then it will merge with the background. And so I will give the give the colors once I have given a background to my bag uh, background color to my background. Yes. and now after this nav i'll come here and say section and yes section uh, let me save that and here in css i'll grab on the section i'll give height 100 vh with 100% and background i want let me first add the image so image it is here so i want this watch.png here okay so here i'll add image watch. watch.png hmm. and now let me add the position and that should be center and then the size should cover and here it is like this and it is covering everything but i cannot see this properly so i can change it and uh, what i can do is and uh, i can give it 100% 100% now if i save it okay so now i can see the proper watch image good now i'll come to my nav bar and give it a position fixed and now if i try to save and see it is like this and now it is it has a position of fixed and that means it will be fixed with top zero and left zero if i write it here 
so it will now fix it will now be fixed at the very top and the very left of the page even if we scroll and like let me show you i'll add height 200 vh to my nav bar uh, to my body and now if i show you boom it is it is now fixed to the very top and the very left of the page since i have given position of fixed and now i can change the colors so to logo i'll say color of white and to nav link i'll give color of 888 that would be grayish color and to nav bar i'll give background transparent and that is not going to uh, affect our code uh, or, or our output right now but i'm adding this for the future and good yeah that is what we want to do here and now if i try to show you we have this good and now i want this to have a background whenever we scroll the white background and the color should change and let me first change the color of the body body and let me ah i have this and now i want background let me use 111 here and here it is or uh, let me just use the pure black color and so i change the color without showing you guys i'm very clever <laughs> so i change the color from 2000 that's not that's not a problem now i'll come to my main.js and now i'll select my nav document dot query selector and now i'll select dot nav bar and then i'll say window dot add event listener and that would be scroll in this case and then a uh, fat or function and here i'll say nav dot class list dot toggle and here i want change okay so this class will will toggle whenever we scroll but when should it toggle when window dot scroll y is greater than zero so when window dot scroll y is greater than zero this class would be added but when we should remove this whenever the window dot scroll y is equal to zero or less than zero it cannot be less than zero but yeah it is equal to zero then we should remove the this class and now if i let me console.log it for you log nav and now here so let me open the google console and now okay whenever we scroll you can see nav bar change 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 but if i go to the very top when the scroll y is zero then you can see that change is removed okay now here in my code now I want some stylings whenever the whenever the nav bar has the class of change but before that I'll define some custom variables uh, custom CSS variables here so I'll say that BG and that would be transparent right now and then here I change it change this to BG okay so if you don't know what these are so these are just CSS variables like we have in main.js so we can declare a variable like this we can use two hyphens and then the name of the variable and then the value and here we can call this by uh, like we can write variable and then in the parentheses we can write the name of the variable and this is it and if you want a dedicated video on CSS variables you can drop a comment down below in the comment section okay and after this I also want more variables and one of them being logo color and first of all it would be 000 oh no it was white so fff and now here i can use logo color and if you're wondering why i'm doing so why i'm creating a variable for this because i want to change all these properties here so if now the change class is added then i want these to be changed and if i want to change then rather than changing whole property background and then zero 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 or a logo color this i can just change these variables and that is going to be quite easier and faster method and now i will also change the link color and in this case it is 888 
and where it says here it is so I will say link color and I have to define only one variable more and that is padding padding y and this is 20 pixels and here it is so I want to change the padding padding y save it and now it will it would not affect our output it would be going it, will, it is going to be the same exactly the same now if I change my logo color to red then it would be red good now let me change it back to white white good here it is now whenever change class is added to my navbar let me first okay whenever a change class is added to my navbar change I want to change these properties padding y uh, I want 5 pixels logo color I want black uh, and before that I'll define background color so BG should be white and then link color should be 555 and what I should do is I should cut this from here and at last after this nav link I should paste this so that it would overwrite each and every um, code we have written above and I would also give transition effect here so it, the transition looks cool and very smooth so I'll add all and then 250 milliseconds this is the duration and now I'll say ease out and this is the transition delay function or not transition function and here if I try to show you I think it is completed yes it is so yes it works that's all what we had to do we have given each and every effect here and we have changed everything yes and if you like the video guys hit that like button below and if you have any queries or feedback or suggestion you can drop a comment in comment section and the source code would be available in the description down below and if you want more such videos subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the instant notification of our latest videos and thank you for watching